Hey folks, and welcome back once more. Let's play Raven Lovestone Prophet. We've totally missed an area here. I know we have. But I'll be... I'll be asked if I want to put in the effort to get there. We got the good item anyways, the Mega Sword that's going to let us just completely ignore the rest of my party. So that's something. Let's get out of here. Get us down this way. I recall correctly. Yes. Haha. -ha. Basic navigational skills. Okay. So with this dungeon, we got entry to. Let's. That's cute. I thought that was the exit, but it is apparently not. Anyways, we got access to, um, I think both the Sphinx and the, um, the chained dude in the deserts. So that's certainly something. Certainly save game worthy. So I guess, um... Okay, before we do anything, I want to swing by the obelisk. And I want to swing by the obelisk purely so that I can dump off all those scroll fragments that we have. Because we do not need those anymore. Okay. That is, I mean, this is the quest item bag, I suppose. But yeah, the scroll of retirement is something that we're going to have to deal with as well at, at some point here. There's, there's the fray. Okay. Y'all can just hang out in here. Okay, and that's an extra... Little loot there. Go ahead and throw the coffer of Ra in here. I don't know that we actually need the coffer of Ra anymore, but again, you know, whatever. I'm not too particularly worried. Give Miss Gem back. And yeah, Kibitz did mention that realistically I can probably just give Chunk a shield now. And we're probably good. I'm gonna. Well, is this thing. Yeah, this is plus three. I'm gonna have. I guess we'll just have Rector hold on to the, the plus three weapons for the time being. All right, Chunk. You can afford to lose another chest. All right. So, yeah, now Chunk has a standing AC of zero. I don't know if Magical Vestment will bring that down. Negative five. All right. And the reason I've got the sword on what would be his left hand is just so that I can mouse over between these two in the off chance that I want to attack with someone that isn't, you know, chunk. Oh, hello. I'm approaching you and swinging wildly. Drist ain't got shit on chunk the whirlwind. I don't remember where Chain Guy was. I know he's out here somewhere. If I were smart, I marked him on my map, but I don't trust myself. No care and some robes. And yeah, Kibitz, Kibitz brought up the good point of like this thing attacking ridiculously fast and also getting our hands on like some gauntlets of giant strength. <laughs> Which... That's a very happy thought. The amount of damage Chunk's gonna be doing is gonna be just nothing short of stupid, and I love it. Okay, there's the corpse. I seriously. I seriously not. All right, there's the Temple of Set. I know it's farther north than that. I seriously must not have marked this thing like a fucking. Aunts. Maybe it's farther north. Hey, it's a surface dwelling man scorpion. Funsies. Aha. Hands. 
I mean, this is something. But I don't know that I'm ready to get in here yet. I have no recollection of the desert hands. I'm sure it will it will come back as as we play further here. All right, you guys want to play? So I'll just like immediately disintegrating one of them. And this is this is high level D and D basically. So in high level D&D, we'd probably be like flying over the landscape. We wouldn't be walking like fucking commoners here. Sit over here. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. I totally like a fucking idiot. I didn't I didn't even. Oh, my God. Statue. Stupid, stupid. Let's player. Here you go, buddy. Have you change? Here he stands as the ghost said, a statue awaiting her sweet son's name. Could it be that easy? To Ken, I say. Do you hear me, you silent creature? I command you with the name of her son, to Ken. Unnecessarily metal music, but I'll allow it. All right, let's let's go into the whatever this is. The royal burial hall. All right. Listen, nearby, he knows the way. I am not the one, but there is another north of it and about a corner. The words of that one fly straight and true. Uh huh. North a bit and around a corner. Oh, hey, Doom Guards. Yay, more lightning damage on kill. Me, yeah. Okay. North a bit and around the corner. I assume that's this guy. Oh, I see you down there, you son of a bitch. Only I am a lightning bolt. Mm. Listen, I know the way. Four teleporters in a circle line. The order is north, south, west, and east. You have to trust someone, don't you? I wouldn't lie. Mm-hmm. Ray's dead. We're like capped on those. May those who yet live find welcome in the royal burial hall. Herein rest the noblest of Harakiri blood. The bones of the ancestors await your prayers. Those in the city of the dead bid you join them. Man. I miss magic mouths in D&D. &D. May those who yet live all right, you're just saying the same thing. And then we have this. Fucking thieves being actually useful, man. I wonder if this is actually the direction that we're supposed to go. The path to judgment awaits us all. Wait no longer. Step forward and brave her judgment. The guardian of the gate of the dead longs to meet you. Smells like a save to me. I'm here for the guardian. I have death magic if need be. And we have a portal out. We have. All right. I do not remember this dungeon at all. Like I remember the early. Oh, that's right. We talked to the wall. That's right. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome all who come to me. The gate of the dead awaits. I am its guardian. Please, 
No need to bow. Let caution vanish from your eyes. I stand here, ready, waiting only to judge the worth of your souls. Come, request my judgment. No need to hesitate. It's funny because I'm pretty sure that this is the same voice actress that in Anvil of Dawn plays the Lady of the Sea, which comes across as this friendly thing and then tries to eat your soul. Judgment is not a word I take lightly. What sentence would you pass? What worth do you seek? The gate of the dead awaits. Is it not your wish to speak with the spirits in the netherworld? With the souls of those who have gone before? That is the sentence I would pass. It is the only judgment mine to make. The old beliefs. Do you know them? Deeds of good weighed against those of bad? I have every confidence your good acts while in Harakir shall allow you passage. Shall we see? Uh, no. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and not do this yet. This is this is the point. Oh, what did I do? I was just moving. No, sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Um, this is the point in the game where you have to have done good things, which in our case is mostly going to be like. Uh, we need to give Piotra his knife back. The big one, I think, is going to be doing Glorintha's quest, the undead paladin and killing the. Um, Zenmed or Sekmed or whatever the. The fucker in the damn mummy in the Temple of Set. So let's go Pestler, Pester Glorintha. She is my favorite character. We might dump wrecked her for a little bit to go and uh, take care of her, her thing. I don't remember if she has to be in the party. I, I want her to... This one motherfucker, man, he's got it. He has got it. Just like totally ready to end this party. Fucking. <laughs> Come on, walk through. There we go. Okay, man, it's weird like coming coming back through here after we just mowed through everything. And like this was well, no, this wasn't really sequence breaking us coming here, I don't think. Okay. All right. Cat horse. We may be replacing you with a zombie momentarily, but that's okay because we'll be coming back for you eventually. I'm just gonna borrow your things. There we go. Give me those bracers. Just like, oh, those those bracers are your armor. Right? You may keep them. Hello, Glorintha. How are you doing? What creature are you? For by the gods, no villager would look in these unholy depths. Men haunt their hovels, the beasts their lairs. These chill walls call to me. Home, they whisper softly. You are home. Who am I to argue with walls? And if I am to be cursed, what matters the location? If you must have a logic to my appearance here, it is this. I have no need to frighten the villagers of Muhar. Their lives are cursing us. Uh, perhaps to be in Harakir at all is to be cursed, in which case we share your fate. What special nature is the curse you bear? Of course, fate. To awaken from death with a curse such as this. Undead, I shall remain until I gain vengeance on he who put me in this state. I cannot finally fully die until the deed is done. Special nature, you ask? 
Is this fate of mine not special? Does it not warrant the contempt in which I hold it? I met death bravely. Yes, even I will say it as a champion. For who would see such goodness in my eyes today? Uh, a curse indeed, from champion to the ranks of the wretched undead. How might we avoid this fate? Parakir decides the fate of those within her borders. Still, if you would fare better, avoid Semnet. They were his fierce eyes last looked into mine. That tattered soul wrapped in mummy's garb took me into his clutches and then when i awoke well what remains of the fighter i was stands before you my hero's heart lies still within this corrupt flesh This is a stupid thing that, like, we actually question. We know who Senmet is. What creature in Harakir bears this name? Senmet is no creature. Accepted his heart, his eyes, and the evil which lurks in every sinew of his being. Once a child of Agdapot, Senmet turned against the Lord who made him. That is, he conspired with the priestess of Set. Together they planned to rule in place of Agdapot, so the story is told. It is a tale I would end if I could. Free myself from the bonds of this undead decay by destroying Sinnet. Lady, we are all about this. Ah, uh, you appear capable enough to these eyes. Why have you not sought your vengeance upon the evil Senmet? If only I had the power. Formidable I may be, and fear I know nothing of. Yet, I know my limitations. The energy of Senmet cannot be crushed to blackness by me alone. Oh, what a vision! The righteous destruction of Senmet. It would end my misery, free my soul from this revenant guise. If I could reach out and grasp such a prize. Mm. Let's see. If you prove as fierce in battle as with words, you shall make a valuable partner. Will you join with us as you once did? We too may chance upon Senmet. If any chance remains that I may once again meet Senmet, I shall join you. Together we shall tear that fiend down from his dreams of power. We shall rend his mummy's wrap, tearing both it and he to the same small bit. But know you this, my armor and my sword, they stay with me no matter the cause, even if I die. It is the one small pleasure of being undead. Our pockets are rarely picked. All right, cat horse. Worry not for me. My blood stirs, and I wish nothing more than to return to my adopted territory. The hunt calls, and somewhere, my prey awaits. Okay, so... Having Glorintha in the party... I love how fucking Rector just left his armor here. So what she got? Plate, a helm, and a two-hander. Hmm... Let's see what her two-hander is. It's probably like plus two. Oh, we can't ID it. I know it's nothing crazy to the point that I'm probably going to just have her swap over to, to dual wielding. She's all right. She's under leveled relative to the rest of the party, and that's one of the reasons that I didn't pick her up earlier is that if we picked her up earlier and, you know, just kept her in the group until we dealt with Senmet, she's going to be eating like all kinds of experience points that would I would rather go on a character that's actually going to be with me long term. So this way, she's going to be a little bit less effective, but at least she's not like being an experience point vampire. And if I recall correctly, she also does not need to drink. All right. 
right, let's ID these swords. We have two two-handed swords. One is plus three, and the other is plus two. All right. Well, she can have the plus three one then. Throw all this in here, and like, I, I'm to the point now where I don't care if the back row is just hellishly encumbered. It doesn't really matter. And she's only eighth level, so she can't really cast spells. She could probably turn undead, maybe. And lay on hands, which I'm curious, if she lays on hands on herself, does it hurt her? No. All right. So, yeah, like, she is in in almost any RPG I have ever played one of my favorite characters, purely because the concept of an undead paladin is just so fucking cool to me. All right. So now, I don't know why I walked here instead of just teleporting. I keep forgetting I have all of these teleportation rocks on me. I think... I think we just have to use the scroll of rest, and that lets us kill sentiment. Oh god, where's the... where's the quest item box? Uh... I know, is it this one? No, I was gonna say, I know Rector had it. It's the problem. Oh, right, here we go. This is the problem with so many containers is that we can't label them or see what's in all of them. All right, I don't suppose is Isu still around? No, it appears she fucked off wisely because if I had to guess, I imagine Glorintha would be Probably more than happy to just cut her down where she stands. Okay, I'm gonna save. I think I may have just saved. I don't even know. Like, I just like the, the, the process of saving is just such an automatic thing for me anymore. All right, fuck bucket. Where are you? I have to use this. I don't, I don't know if I have to do it now or after he's dead. She's probably buff though, huh? Haste. Uh, magical vestment. Give him a lightning for good feels. Wow, buddy. This is a trick. Something's wrong. If Sen Met were dead, I would be free of this undead flesh. I would be able to return to my god. What is it yet that I must do to destroy that new mummy? This. The creature who cursed me is no more. With Senmet destroyed, my soul is once again my own. Now to free from this horrid form. Oh, my friend. It pains me to leave you behind. But now that vengeance is done, my God calls me to him. It has been an honor to fight at your side. Yet I must leave. No choice have I. May the blessings of my God see you through to the end. Rip, Glorintha. You were a true boss. All right. Um. Nobody can actually. Well, no, I take that back. Yeah. Nope, not an upgrade. All right. I'm gonna hold on to the two-hander plus three because it's it's a plus three weapon. Plus three weapons are uncommon enough that um, I'm I'm happy to hold on to them for time being. Uh, let's go ahead and just zip out of here. All right, so that's that's Senmet taken care of. Now we gotta go back and find the damn cat horse again. I think he, he's like, he's like right out here though, I think. Oh wait, no, he's further to the north. Shit. I should have portaled to the obelisk. God damn it. So much inventory management. Okay. Jesus. All right, now where was he? I think that's him actually right up there. Cat horse, I've missed you. We were gone so long. 
A good day to you, friend. It has not been long since last we spoke, or so it seems. Whatever the time, the sand has worn at both of us. What is it you seek this time? Ah. Uh, would you accompany us? A creature with the heart is worth an army from Harakir. The offer is welcome. Prey has grown difficult to find in this desolate waste, and it would be good to turn my attention from hunger to adventure. This game has. Oh, this game is so good, you guys. I don't know if you know this. This game's really good. It's just got. It's. It's got so much better characters than either of the other ones. That's. Rove's extra staff. That's Rove's box of wands. Uh, okay. Arcuriax plus three. This two-hander can stay. We get to keep the plus three. That's nice. Don't need the short sword. Warhammer plus two. Dagger. There we go. All right. Now we're going to Muhar. You'd think that I would remember what boxes were what, considering how much I'm fucking about with them. You thought wrong. Okay. Alright, where's... Alright, there's P-Order down to the right. Okay. Alright. <laughs> ah, fucking Christ. I don't know why I just... Why I wrote P-Order instead of just typing out Piotra. Good lord. Alright, I don't want this asshole to join my party, though. I have no use for another thief. Hey, buddy. Your sister told us to find you, like, hours ago. Are you, are you truly? Yes, a foreigner. Stranger to Harakir. I, Piotr, welcome you. I welcome you as though the sun rises in your heart and the cool moon proclaims us brothers. Now I know we are not alone, my sister and myself. These Harakiri prove dull company. The lucky have the wit of camel masters. The rest cringe in terror at the slightest stirring of the sand. Yeah, about your sister. Uh, you have a look about you familiar. You have a sister, you say. And brothers too, though I fear for their souls. Their bodies are no longer to be worried over, for their dispirited, rotted flesh has left their bones. Only jackals have use for their remains. We are the Stani, gypsy some call us, wanderers. For so long Barovia was our home, the mists our ally. We drew our wagons where we would, and the fogs, deadly to others, bothered us not. You speak of mists, of the fog. Did you become lost in its unwelcome patterns? Yes, we became lost. If when lost one trades mountains cool and snow-capped for the burning sands of Harakir. From his castle heights, the Lord of Barovia called the Vistani friend. Here, the dull witch shun every soul not as dull as their own. And the rotting disease spreads. It comes upon you like a hot wind right through the walls of your soul it comes. My brothers and the others with us, they felt it. The hot touch of death. We must tell you, your appearance is familiar because we have encountered your sister. She is dead, the same fate as your brothers. The wrath of a flea might fell a camel, and my wrath be upon Ankhapot, my sister. I had not seen her. I... She often stole away from us alone. She would journey into the sands, seeking a way out of Harakir for us. Her magic was one to command the mist, and she blamed herself for bringing us here. Now it is all but done. Only I remain. Ah, oh, such a terrible affliction, the rotting disease. Now all but one of our band has been brought down by it. That sucks, buddy. So the villagers of- oh, this is Chunk. So the villagers of Muhar are affected as well, and they blame the Vistani for bringing this disease among them? It is difficult to say what they believe. Though generally it is this. The lord of the land, Hongtapot, stirs in his ancient sleep. He is a mummy, wrapped as much in evil as in cloth. Though the cloth has tattered, the evil has not. It is he who sends the fierce storms across the land. Perhaps it is he who has released this strange running affliction. Yet what has drawn this creature's attention? Stirred his wrath. In the eyes of the villager, it was once the Vistani. Now that we are gone, 
It could be you. I hesitate, but I must ask this of you. When you found her remains, my sister, did you find as well a certain dagger? It is strange to ask, I know, yet this blade of which I speak was the one symbol of our family. An heirloom, if you will. Whoever leads our family is charged with keeping it. Now I am leader and family both, all wrapped up in one sorry spirit. The blade, do you know of it? Totally, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love that you just fucking lie. Or just tell him that we know, but then we don't have it anymore. Oh my god. Two ways to be a dick. Here's the dagger of which you speak. We found it near the bones of your sister. May you keep it as well honed as did she. My thanks. With this dagger, I feel as a bloom in the desert, given life by he who waters it, yet unable to do more than accept the gift. Yet how much longer can I hope to survive myself? Oh, please allow me to join with you, whatever you are about. I shall make myself as useful as rain in the desert. I cannot find my way out of Harakir alone. And to wait here for the rotting sickness to come is worse than death itself. Yeah, that sucks. Um... Yeah, uh... No. No. I cannot accept that. You will come to see the folly of your ways. Of that, I assure you. Strong hands I have and heart to match. Go. Go then! But you shall be back with apologies brimming from your lips. If not else destroys you, my curse will find you in the hot days to come. I love how he's all like wonderful and now he's gonna sit here and pout and hopefully catch like the mega clap and die. What you get for being a jerk, dude. Alright. Now now that I've said my piece, I think we've done most of the good things. There's one more we can do. There's like some some dude, like one of the people in the village, you can go find her husband. He's like out here in the desert somewhere, basically dead in the sands. And you can bring to her news, buddy. Don't. Just don't. I'm already in a mood. Last thing. Party doesn't even stop moving. Oh, get the- No! Oh, we got one of them! We fucking nailed one of the damn man scorpions with that lightning bolt. <laughs> totally intentional. Esports. <laughs> fucking game. Okay, where's where's the statue? I know it's out here somewhere. There it is, okay. All right. I ran right past it like a fucking nonce. All right. All right. On that note, I am going to go ahead and call an episode here. So as usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time and I will see you next time where we get our our good deeds weighed against the feather and see if we didn't fuck up or not. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series, see if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, feed the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.